Hey, it's Will. I thought I'd pop on again and talk more about this journey, you know, kind of the integration part of the plant medicine uh, on Mother Ayahuasca. Um, you know, it's not something that you just, uh, you know, do and then it kind of like changes your life forever and, you know, it takes a little work. And uh, we're told this, you know, um, through the, uh, after the ceremony, it's like, you know, what are you going to do now um, in order to begin to integrate this knowledge, this wisdom, this like kind of download that I received from this incredible experience I had. Um, and really, you know, like going back to the other video, you know, really learning so much about love and how important love is and where love comes from and how to continually express love, right? And, uh, and be more loving to myself and other people. And also how to, for me, it's like, you know, integrate that inner child work. That That's something that's really been profound for me. Um, so I actually started uh, just to stay into the, the heart space and, and, and the, the love vibrations. I've actually been wanting to play guitar for a very long time. I actually have two guitars in my space that I never play. I tried years ago to pick up the guitar. So I actually bought an app yesterday and learning the A and the D chord and going to practice that for like 20 minutes a day and continually move through this program. Um, so I'm excited to do that because I'm just such a big lover of music and um, I think that'll really help me just to find a deeper sense of myself uh, as well as just continually keep the heart strings of love kind of playing and being with me. Um, I'm journaling every morning for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, and not it's kind of free form, not necessarily writing a lot about love uh, for sure. And, um, and what that looks like in my day, in my life, in my relationships, in my friendships, in my work. Um, so that's been really helpful. Uh, part of the what I was told after, um, you know, after the ceremony, uh, as part of the integration process, is to um, you know keep, stay still, like really be still. So I'm meditating as well, which I always do, but I'm actually meditating with uh, these mala beads that I've never really used. Uh, these are tiger eyes, uh, little beads. I got these in Guatemala from you flow. Uh, if you're listening out there in Guatemala. Um, down on Lake of Titlan, and um, you know, Mala's 108 um, um, uh, marks, I guess you could say, or beads. And so, I've been doing uh, just working through the Mala and um, with different, you know, affirmations or with little mantras about like I receive or I am love, I give love kind of stuff. I know it sounds a little weird and cheesy, but. You know, it's like, but not just, it's not just the concept of it. I'm really trying to bring that into my heart and and be more with that. Um, I'm also like reaching out to people that actually, I have a friend of mine that did, and I actually did my first ceremony with years ago, 2014, who was like just a couple spaces away from me, who happened to do a ceremony in Guatemala this same weekend that I just did. Uh, so I'm gonna connect with him. And I think it's important to process with other people that have been through this experience. I'm trying to connect with other people. If you're out there, uh, connect with other people that have been part of the, on this journey with me in that room. Um, so just to kind of like, really, I think it's important to integrate. I mean, it is very important to integrate because I want this not just to be a memory, but I want this to be, you know, a giant uh, leap forward in my own development and who I can be and who I want to be and who I want to continually strive to to bring into the world to help more people and uh, just have a happier and healthier life uh also understanding more about uh billy you know and how where he, how he's shown up in my life and how he has shown up in my life and he's got a lot of little, little rage like i got a like, little rage for a little child inside of me that that i uh has expressed itself in in these ridiculous needs to be seen or to be heard or to be right i mean that's a big one for me and that's i think where a lot of the rage comes from uh, is like wanting to be right or wanting and wanting to be heard and wanting to be heard that I'm right. Um, and that's been able to, I mean, it's nice to kind of give that, you know, to know that this is just like, you know, my eight year old child inside, like, rah, like, why not me? Or why am I not getting my way? Or why are my knees not being mad? And like, you know, um, and just like, it's comes from such a deep emotional place. Uh, and it's just, well, not necessarily emotional. It just seems to be like my mind and, you know, is wrapped into some sort of emotional or connects me emotionally 
um, to this. It's really like just about being right and like being heard and like and um, and like making pe people, other people know that like you know I'm here and I'm not going away. Um, so that's been actually a, a great epiphany for me uh, is realizing that this like kind of ego of myself is like this this young child who's needs are not being met um, but it's like now I have a relationship with Billy <laughs> and he's with me uh, and I can like be like yo I got this you know like let the, let let will <laughs> let the man take care of this um, and also really happy to do this today on June 3rd which is kind of like you know my like my real birthday I feel like it was 18 years ago today that I stepped in my own path and moved to New York City and left the corporate confines behind um, and I've been living my own life for 18 years just doing my own thing like absolutely you know I mean making it into a business and and I mean you all thank you for all that have been a part of that business whether you're taking a yoga class or retreat or even just checking this out or men talking mindfulness and so grateful for everything that I've been able to accomplish and achieve and and adventure and all the things that I've been able to do for 18 years this is like kind of my June 3rd is is my is like will not fear's birthday so happy birthday to me on June 3rd. <laughs> so, <laughs> should I sing a song? Should I get my guitar and play? Anyway, hey, thanks for checking this out. Uh, thanks for the messages on the, the comments on the earlier one. Uh, let me know I can help you. You know, I'm uh, I'm teaching yoga in the park. I don't think it's gonna be well, be so great today on Thursday. It's supposed to rain, but I'm there on Sundays at two o'clock. And, um, and uh, you know, please let me know how I can help you. And uh, thank you for checking this out and thank you for all your encouraging words and um, vibrate higher with love. Peace. Thank you.